We're in Glasgow and tonight we're gonna do a bit of a food tour. But we've been eating Scottish food all week, so we're gonna try some food from different cultures because as much as we love the Scottish food, we're ready to mix it up a little bit. We are starting off here at Donner House. It's actually a German spot and they have kebabs. They're kind of like German Euros. So we're getting ours that's got half Donner, half chicken shawarma, and then there's a hot sauce that comes with that. And then we're also getting mini chicken schnitzels. Matt and I are pumped about this. We're absolutely starving. So these kind of look like chicken nuggets, but they are chicken schnitzel, like mini chicken schnitzel bites. So it is kind of like a fancy chicken nugget. Dip it in sauce. Perfectly crispy. And a really nice sauce here. Well, this is the main event. This is our kapap. And it is on a German bread that is covered with sesame on the outside. It's a very fluffy bread, but it is not a German pita because I asked there is actually German pita. So it's kind of like a sourdough bread bowl with chicken shawarma and similar to gyro meat stuffed in it. And then we also have this hot sauce. We're gonna put a little bit on there, right there. I've had a lot of sandwiches on bread. I don't know if I've ever had a sandwich in a bread bowl before. That's why I enjoy traveling, because I find new things. quote Ron Swanson, this is a whole new meat delivery system. Well, the first spot, Donner House, absolutely knocked it out of the park. I love the kapap. I'm probably saying that terribly, but yes, was it meat between two breads and is that a sandwich? Absolutely but I've never had a sandwich like that before and it was really, really good. Our food has arrived here at Chaku and it looks absolutely delicious. Now all their food comes out tapa style, so they're smaller plates. So we ordered like five or six different items and we're gonna share it all. First item we've got here is the smoked chicken tikka. It comes with a homemade mint chutney. And I absolutely love it when food is colorful and this food is very colorful. We have here lemon rice. This is the butter chicken. That is Madeline's favorite dish when it comes to any cuisine. This is chicken tikka masala, which is my favorite dish when it comes to Indian cuisine. These are cheek kebabs. They are marinated lamb kebabs. And we have that mint sauce again to dip those in. And these are lamb samosas. And that's what I'm gonna go with first. We're just gonna rip that up. Look at that, that ground lamb with peas in there. Oh my goodness. This crust is so very, very flaky. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. Well, this lamb samosa is one heck of a way to start our meal here at Chaku. It is minced ground lamb with peas in there. It is so savory and I don't even know what the sauce is. I don't care because it's absolutely delicious. If I had a plate of 40 of these, I could eat 40 of them. That's, that's not even up for debate. So we're gonna go for my favorite dish. We're gonna take a little bit of this lemon rice. Scoop that right on there. We're gonna go chicken tikka masala right here. And I forgot to mention, this might even be the star of the show right here. Garlic, garlic naan, smells so good. 
I wish your television or phone or whatever device you're watching this on had 4D so you could smell this delicious, delicious naan. Before we even take a bite, we're just gonna dip it right in your in that sauce. Chicken is so tender. The sauce brings some heat, but it's not overly hot. And it has really, really good spice flavor. They're three for three so far on everything I've tried. I have to say, this place is packed tonight, which I think is some indication of how good it is. We're gonna go with some rice. We're going in on buttered chicken. It's a big hunk of chicken. It's a huge, huge pieces of chicken in here. Oh my goodness. Wow. I just want some more of that extra sauce on top here. Then let's go straight in. Like Adam said, everything here is very colorful. It looks amazing. It all smells great. Oh, I'm excited for this. Oh, that's so good. A little bit of heat, not overpowering. Also a little bit of sweetness. The chicken is so tender. And the lemon rice is just bringing it all together. Oh yeah. Oh, that's very good. I know we're supposed to share its tapas, but no, I think this might just be mine. It's the lamb kebab. We're going in. I'm just gonna eat with my fingers. Oh. Every bite, full of flavor. I love this mint sauce. Wow. This is bringing the heat a little bit. I won't mind. But it is, I love the char on the outside. Absolutely delicious. You know, for small plates, these kicked our butt. Huge portions for small plates. We can't even finish it. We don't say that very often. But we are definitely taking it to go because it was absolutely phenomenal and one of the best Indian meals we ever had. We are off and walking this morning in Glasgow and we are stopping at a spot for breakfast. You can call it breakfast, but we're gonna get some donuts at a spot called Tantrum Donuts. Took one look at the picture of their donuts and said, that's where we're going for breakfast. And Madeline agreed, so. Yeah, like I'm gonna say no to donuts. <laughs> so, off to donuts we go. We're starting off our day in Glasgow at Tantrum Donuts. We've got some coffee and tea and then some beautiful donuts. This is the Chocolate Millionaire. It has chocolate and caramel cream. And then this is a creme brulee donut, which looks amazing. It's got some hard sugar on top. I think they must have uh, taken the blowtorch to it. They look beautiful. Chocolate cream in the middle, super fluffy donut, rolled in sugar on the outside, and then these are like little crunchy candy, like sprinkles on top. Wow. Mm. Oh, that's what we get further in there. There's some like caramel sugar in there too. Mm. Wow, that is delicious. I think I start my day the right way here in Glasgow. Well, I went with the Crème Brûlée diet. They said it was their best seller, and one look at it and you can see why. Obviously, we've got the caramelized top there, and it's a heavy donut. Alright, let's go. 
mustard is tasty and that sugar on top breaks and it's just so tasty. These are very filled donuts. It's one of the better donuts I've ever had. We eat a lot of donuts. <laughs> Adam's right. These are some of the tastiest donuts we've ever had. And uh, they're really more like dessert. <laughs> it's almost too much. But can you ever have enough chocolate? I mean, they call us the millionaire and I think, um, uh, I think it's a million dollar donut. The next food spot we're heading to here in Glasgow is a pizza spot. It's called Pesano's Pizza and it is actually the first spot in Glasgow that brought Neapolitan style pizza to the area. Seems to be a pretty popular spot, and we are hungry as per usual. So we're gonna go grab some pizza. Well, we put in our order here at Pisano. We're getting one Tuscan fennel sausage pizza with sugo. And we're also getting one with spicy salami. We've seen the pizzas come out. They look fantastic. We're hungry, we're both getting our own pizza, and I think we're both gonna finish our pizza because we are that hungry. Our pizzas have arrived, they came out super fast, literally in like five or six minutes, and they look absolutely beautiful. They're big pizzas, but they're super thin. You can see how thin that crust is. Mm, yeah. We're gonna go right here on this sausage pizza. Some pizza fans may not be a fan of that droop, but this is a really good crust, great ingredients, and we're off to a good start here at Pisano. I'd say this is a very impressive operation here. The kitchen is open, you can see all the ovens going, and they are just churning out these pizzas so fast. I'll stop talking, I'm gonna dig in. Like Adam said, super thin crust. Ooh, I'm losing some of the pepperoni. Oh, I Delicious sauce. The salami has a heat to it. Absolutely delicious. Love the cheese. Mm. I was really intimidated when these came out because they're huge, but we might be able to make a pretty good dent here because the crust is so thin. Pisano's pizza was absolutely delicious, as were all our food stops here in Glasgow. We didn't really get to explore the city that much. We only had a day here. Uh, we didn't leave the central area. But I feel like this city has a lot more to offer and we're looking forward to coming back in the future and seeing more of the city. If you want to see more from our adventures in Scotland, click right here. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.